His religious leaders thought holiness involved keeping apart from normal people. Jesus said that was nonsense, and he came to be a role model of holiness for us. He radically identified with the people, but stayed radically different, obedient to his father. He was motivated by love and empowered by the spirit, and got involved in people's mess. I mean, the very presence of Jesus was like salt, flavouring lives, and like a preservative, preventing those who believed in him from a rotten end. The truth he spoke went out like light into the darkness, far beyond his physical reach. He told his followers that they too should be like salt and like light for the entire world. Important then for his followers, but essential now for us. Why? Because he's no longer physically on earth. The only way he can continue getting involved with messy people is through us. Imagine you've invited a friend around for a chip supper and there's a power cut. You sit at one end of the table with a salt pot and your camping lantern and your friend sits at the other end in the dark. Would you do that? Of course not. It's not fair, is it? You move in close and put the lamp and the salt in the middle of the table because it's for sharing. Yet even though, as Christians, our lives have been greatly blessed by the truth and presence of Jesus, we often hold on to it and won't share it because we're afraid to. But that's not fair, is it? Jesus is for sharing. He's not talking about hit and run evangelism. But salt and light is about sharing our lives by loving others. The Bible says 365 times, don't be afraid. He compels us to try. We need to walk the talk, be in the world but not of it. Remember that you are not trying to convince someone of your own ideas and emotions, but the ageless truths about the person and work of Jesus. So ask the Holy Spirit by prayer to increase the presence of Jesus in you. Then motivated by his love and empowered by his spirit, step out and share your life with whoever Jesus puts in front of you. Then whoever your life intersects with, so does Jesus. You do not simply speak the gospel, you become the gospel, even though you may feel inadequate to help or share. But don't let that hold you back, because Jesus delights in showing his strength at work through your weaknesses. Jesus is for sharing. Who is sat at the end of your table in the dark that needs you to share his salt and light with? It's not fair to leave them. Go on. Be salt and light. Get involved. Don't be afraid. He's with you. Try. Amen.